kids, it's Miss Rita and this week I'm at your school garden to give you the winter garden tour. So let's see what's growing in your school garden. So first I want to show you a picture of the school garden during the late summer and early fall. And now here's a picture of it right now during the winter. What are some differences that you notice? What colors do you see more of then versus now? Great observations. Yes, so in the summer you might have noticed the garden has more greens and lots of things that are tall and growing. That's because the main growing season is the summer. Some plants will keep growing into the winter, but many don't like the cold. However, we still have a few things that are able to still grow. For example, in this bed we have some collards growing. Dark leafy greens and root vegetables don't mind the cold at all and will continue to grow throughout the winter. Collards are an excellent source of K vitamins, which helps our bodies to heal quickly. Over in this bed, we have some kale growing. We planted this in about early October and it will probably continue to grow throughout the winter until spring when we harvest it. You might have seen kale sauteed like this in a pan or used for a salad or maybe even a green smoothie. Kale is a dark leafy green and it's rich in nutrients. So do you think kale plants grow faster in the warmer months or the colder months? That's right, they grow faster in the warmer months because the warmer temperatures help them to grow and there's more sun and warmth that helps them to grow. Have you tried kale before? If you have, what are some ways that you've eaten it? Okay, next in this bed we have one of my favorites. It's garlic. Garlic grows slow and steady over the winter months, then is harvested in the summer. Did you know that when you're eating garlic, you're actually eating part of the roots? Usually we'll cut off the top part and the bottom part is what we use to season our food. We planted this garlic almost a month ago and you can see that it's starting to sprout. The garlic is those thin, wispy green leaves you can see coming out of the ground. Garlic is so cool because it's one of the longest growing plants from planting to harvest in our garden. All right, in this next bed, we have some turnips growing. And turnips are a root vegetable that don't mind the colder temperatures. Why do you think root vegetables are able to tolerate colder temperatures? Yeah, that's a good guess. So root vegetables are tucked under a layer of soil and mulch and that keeps them insulated so they're protected from the cold weather that's above and so that's how they can still grow when it's cold outside. So what about the other beds in the garden? Did you know that you have to put the garden to sleep over the winter in spots where things are not growing? If you leave bare soil with no plants in it, the soil can become compacted and lose nutrients. Soil is the source of all of our food that comes out of the garden, and that's the food that we put in our bodies, so we want to make sure that we keep the soil as healthy as possible. So what I'm showing you here is the cover crop that we use to protect the soil. The cover crop we use is just a mixture of plants that will continue to grow over the winter and keep the soil healthy. Cover crop protects the soil by covering it, that's why it's called cover crop, and it'll keep all the nutrients in the ground. And we put straw over the cover crop so that the birds don't eat it as a yummy snack. I also wanted to give you an update of what the sensory garden and herb garden are looking like right now. You can see that most things are dying off, but some things are annuals, so I'll have to replant them again next year if I want to see them again. And then other things are perennials, and they'll come back on their own. Also, here's an update of what the orchard's looking like in the winter. You can see the kiwi berry trees against the fence have lost their leaves. Also, the fig trees have lost their leaves as well, and the persimmon tree. What's one new thing that you learned about the garden in the winter time? Alright, and that's the end of the tour. Thanks for watching.